big news, ladies and gentlemen, or at least the beginnings of big news, I should say. Four Heisei-era Godzilla films from Janus are coming to the Criterion channel. Uh, to read exactly what they posted, quote, following a nine-year absence from the screen, the king of the monsters roared back with a vengeance in 1984 with the return of Godzilla, inaugurating a new era in the ramping reptiles mythology. The ferociously entertaining kaiju spectaculars of the 1980s and 90s, which brought back familiar favorites like Mothra and King Ghidorah and introduced a new adversary in the genetically engineered mutant Biollante, reestablished Godzilla as a fearsome force after previous Showa-era films that had recast himself as a benevolent protector. While taking the series' political commentary and vaunted special effects in bold new directions. Unfortunately, I have I have seen nothing but people complaining online and in Godzilla groups and stuff like that. I have seen nothing but people complaining, and they really need to stop because they're they're complaining that this doesn't have all of the Heisei era Godzilla movies on it. And I'm like, of course it only has the first four because Janus has been acquiring these uh, for quite a while. They, it's kind of been an open secret in the industry. And essentially what they're doing, clearly, is waiting for Sony's rights to expire. And then Janus is going to step in and snatch them up so that way they can bring them to Criterion. One reason why I'm so excited for this, in all seriousness, is because he the Heisei era is my favorite era of Godzilla. Sure, it's not my favorite visually. I think the visual style of the Heisei era is actually quite lacking in compared to the lavishness that was the Showa era. But story-wise and structure-wise is where I think the Heisei era st shines the most. Believe it or not, you can like more than one era of Godzilla. I don't understand this divide in the in the Godzilla community where they're like so adamant that you can't like the Heisei or you can't like Showa or you can't like the Millennium Era. I'm like, no, you can like them all uh, because I do. Criterion's probably just going to get a hold of the Blu-ray releases of the Heisei Era, but hear me out. I actually really like the the Japanese Blu-rays for the Heisei Era because I have I have three of them. I have the one for King Ghidorah, uh, Space Godzilla and Destroya. Uh, Destroya's in particular, I really like. It has kind of the slight green tint to it that kind of brings out the film grain and makes it feel a little bit more grungy, a little bit more dirty. And I and I actually really like that aesthetic, particularly for that film. I think it looks great. I think they all look fantastic, and they keep the film grain too. That's another thing that I really like. I feel like such a snob saying that, but I do. I do like my film grain, and I think it adds to the character and the, the grunginess that is these these movies, particularly with the practical special effects that they use. On on the other hand, you have the U.S. Blu-ray releases for particularly Space Godzilla and Destroya, and I I hate the way how they look over here in the United States. Space Godzilla has this weird purple hue over it which would be fine if it was toned down but it is it is a blatant purple hue over the entire film and then destroy out it visually looks fine in terms of the colors and the grain and everything like that the problem is it's just cropped wrong it's the wrong aspect ratio while the dvd release of those two movies look actually fine despite the fact that they're lower res they're gearing up for a massive blu-ray release for the heisei era just like they did with the showa era it's so clear that this is what they're doing I mean, we, we're only getting the first four here, which is the Return of Godzilla, the Japanese version. Uh, Godzilla vs. Biollante, uh, King Ghidorah, and then Mothra. And I'm convinced that Toho is going to allow them to do what they did with, with, the, with the Showa era. I mean, why not? It's just more money in their pocket. I'm curious if they're going to do that with the Millennium Era next, because... I mean, it would be great if they did, but it's also a, a very modern... It's To me, even though it's something like 20 years old now, it's it's more modern, and Criterion tends to go with more classic movies. Not always. There are exceptions. They do have some modern films. Uh, the Curious Case of Benjamin Button, I remember being really surprised that Criterion would even bother to release, but they did. But I'm not going to hold my breath yet. Not until I get that Janus is acquiring... <laughs> is acquiring some some millennium era Godzilla movies. Well, I start going, yes, this is exactly what they're going to do. So I hope they do. And the Blu-rays of the millennium era also still look fantastic. I mean, the one for 
Godzilla 2000 is a little too green and dark for my liking. But the one for GMK against Mechagodzilla and Final Wars, they all look gorgeous. And they have the right amount of film grain present in all of them. The grunginess of Final Wars, it keeps that, which I love. You know, it doesn't try to clean it up. And, and that's what I admire about those Blu-rays. Ultimately, we don't know what prints that they're going to use. Maybe they are getting a 2K release, even though I think we would have, like, heard of that. I mean, look at the, the Showa-era 4K releases, which are mm, gorgeous, by the way. Criterion is going to use whatever Toho gives them, and we're going to have to put up with that. Toho continues to have their iron fist over the big G, and that is not going to change anytime soon. So we need to just accept that right now. And, and in terms of that, I don't think it'll be any different than the Showa-era Criterion set were that used very much so with some modifi slight modifications the Toho Blu-ray prints of the movies for for good and for bad and believe it or not I do think there is a lot of good to come from those prints of the movies uh just there's quite a bit of bad we got to take with it as far as special features go with this list that they have which again is just going on the Criterion channel nothing has been listed that didn't surprise me at all again some people are bitching about that too but I'm like look at the Showa era series that they did it, it, it had hardly any special features on it at all did you really expect any different for something like whatever <laughs> there might be a few things dropped here and there certainly probably a, a couple trailers maybe a few archival interviews with with the makers which would be really cool i'd love to see ones with takio kawara and koichi kawakita and uh kazuo omori uh, a lot too because i'm, I'm genuinely fans of their work uh, and I want to hear what they talk about, especially with the tight deadlines and, and and stuff like that that they really had to work with and just how excruciating the process was. I, I genuinely want to hear more of the story. So I'm hoping we get at least a couple of archival uh, interviews with them. I really like that special feature on the Showa era one with the interview between Yoshimitsu Bano and Shiro Honda. I really love that one because it really gets into the mindset of both filmmakers. I would love to see something similar because I know they produced them with the Heisei era filmmakers as well, because it's an entirely new generation and you feel it. And that's one reason why I love the Heisei Godzilla film so much. It was the Godzilla films of my generation. So ultimately I won't care because unlike the Showa era box set, which I don't actually have, I don't actually own that box set. And I'm not planning on owning that box set because I have all of the other Showa era Godzilla movies multiple times on digital and physical media. I will cough up the dough to buy this set, to have all of my Heisei-era Godzilla films in one box set. Sign me up for that. The American Blu-rays, Destroya and Megaguirus were the ones on one box set. I, that drove me up the wall. So I'd love having them all in one concise box set. I will be buying this. <laughs> There's no ifs, hands, or buts about it. So, Man, well, it is great to be a Godzilla fan right now because Criterion we we know what direction Criterion's going in with the Heisei era the Showa era Godzilla films are now back on YouTube for free as of the time of making this video and Tokushoutsu is streaming all of the classic Godzilla movies with the exception of King Kong vs. Godzilla 24 hours seven days a week now it is a good time to be a Godzilla fan we've finally got an Academy Award winning Godzilla movie with Godzilla minus one which is now on Netflix and it broke records again and then, of course, we have uh, Godzilla X Kong, which was an immensely enjoyable film that I had a blast watching. I guess now it is the highest grossing theatrical MonsterVerse film thus far, which is awesome. This is a great time to be a Godzilla fan. <laughs> you can pick your boys in here. You you don't have to necessarily like the, the MonsterVerse. You can go for the Godzilla Minus One style stuff. You don't have to like the Heisei era. You can go watch some of the Showa era stuff. I'm loving that everything is now starting to to accumulate together finally because for a long time it was hard to get your hands on the Heisei era uh, movies. Those were those used to be the most readily available ones out there, and now suddenly they became so hard to find. When it used to be the Showa era that was almost impossible to track down, now it's the complete and total opposite. Oh, I'm so excited for this, guys! I am so excited. Yeah, well, I have prattled on long enough short concise video uh <laughs> you know in the end all my social media is in the description below this is adam noise of and productions saying sayonara